Hello everyone, in this video we will see a introduction of tender. What is tender? See, tender is an offer in writing to the contractors to execute some specified work or to supply specified materials within certain fixed time as per conditions of the contract for a certain amount of money. See, what is tender? It is an offer in writing to the contractors. Contractors will have an offer in writing. We will give an offer to the contractor to execute some specified work. There it may be any work, construction of road, construction of culverts, construction of minor bridges, construction of house, buildings, anything. So it is an offer which is given to the contractor for the execution of work or it can be supply of materials also. For example, for a particular department, they will only need material for the construction work for any specified work. So they will offer any contractor to supply them material as per their requirement and they have to complete or execute the work specified work or supply the material within certain fixed time there will be time mentioned in that tendering offer tender notice generally we say it so in that time will be fixed that you have to submit it before so and so and the completion period of that particular project is so and so and as per the conditions of contract there will be some conditions that a contractor has to follow for a certain amount of money and why contractor will do this obviously for the money for some percentage benefit in the amount so you can also define a tender that tender is called upon for executing certain specified work or supplying specified material subjected to certain terms and conditions like rates time limit time limit and etc it is a same Definition is same, only the wordings is changed. So you can use either definition or you can write both the definitions in the exam. And it is an offer in written form, obviously. See, legally speaking, it is an offer to receive an off, uh, offer of the work or offer for the work within the specified financial limits. For example, if a contractor has to complete a work, execute a work, or supply materials to some department or owner, so he must be financially stable he must have some financial limits because he will be paid uh, may be paid in the advance or may not be but it should be the contractor should be capable if he is uh, accepting the tend that particular tender he should be capable of doing or completing that particular work or supply that particular material and see the tender document contains the boq that is bill of quantities specifications of the works to be carried out time frame for the completion of work conditions of the contract plans and drawings what tender document includes or contains it contains bill of quantities boq we have seen in the previous videos what is boq you can watch that video specification we have also seen it is a description of item of work then it is also given and what a time frame the contractor has to complete that work they have also mentioned they will also mention the conditions of contract in that particular tender plans they will provide drawings will they provide because you have to carry out the work as per the drawings and plans now so they will provide these documents that will be included in that tender and the process of finalization of contracts is achieved through the tender process finalization of contract to whom you should give the contract of a particular execution of work or supply of material that will be finalized by using tendering process okay so this is the introduction of tender in this chapter we are going to see various terms related to tender pre bidding what is meeting pre bid meeting what is the acceptance of tender what is the situation in which tender got rejected for a particular contractor that we are going to see in the next videos so this was just an introduction video to the tender thank you